First this afternoon, a mother's intuition and unrelenting will to find her missing daughter leads to a tragic break in the case. Now it shifts to a homicide investigation. Good afternoon, I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. Amanda Hilton disappeared on New Year's Eve. Now this morning, officers found her body in a field near La Colonnade Apartments in Southgate. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kersner joins us live. So Jim, do detectives right now have a suspect in custody? They do indeed. The person in custody is cooperating and get this. He's the husband who reported his wife missing here last week. We know who he is, but we're not naming him because he's not yet been charged with a crime. We feel very strongly that our suspect is the suspect, right? This is the missing person poster that went up last week on social media. 31 year old Amanda Hilton missing since New Year's Eve. She'd already been through the tragedy of losing her son. She's been married only a couple of years and lived here in the apartments with her husband. She always seemed very into her family, like a very family oriented person. Just for her to up and vanish just didn't seem right. Amanda's mother called police last night, urging them to look closer. They would find the body of a woman in a grassy field behind the apartments. She'd been shot in the head. It's not clear how long that body had been out there. Listening to the mother um, and her intuition here kind of uh, gave us some insight. They haven't had a murder in Southgate in five years. Ironically, the last one at these apartments. State Police Crime Lab also working the case, gathering physical evidence in the apartment and inside two cars. The fact pattern then putting the husband to the test. Is he cooperating, would you say? Yes, I'll say that. Telling you the full story? Well, I don't know the full story, but he is giving us a story. And um, Do you believe it? Yeah, I don't think that uh, it's, it's consistent with the facts. There, it seems consistent, yes. I can't even put into words how I feel. All right. It's just, I'm in unbelievable, like, shock, honestly. Now, police here have been talking with the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office every step of the way. Glenda and Allen, they expect to have formal charges either tomorrow or Thursday. Live in Southgate, Jim Kurtzner, back to you. And more answers to come. Jim, thank you.